What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. So this is continuation for Revit Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. So I'm going to show you how to create and edit piping system types and create and edit piping systems. So this is almost the same as with the ducting system. Okay, so now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new piping system type. So how to do that? So from our project browser, you can go to the families and then you can look for system or piping systems. So expand the pipi uh, piping system and then you'll be able to see here all the systems for your pipes. Okay, so same with your dock. So if you want to look for your dock systems here. You can expand that and then you can select the plus again to see all the systems for your dock system. Alright, so if you want to create a system or a new system for your dock, you can uh, do what I'm going to do with my piping system. So let's say I'm looking for a, a heating hot water supply. So it's not here on my piping system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the available system here, which is the hydronic supply. Okay, so I'm going to use this to create a new piping system. So I'm going to right click this and I want to see the properties of my hydronic, sys hydronic supply. So I'm going to select here type properties and this is the property of my hydronic supply. You can actually change that if you want to see the other properties of the other system uh, piping here. But for now, I'll just select hydronic system and then you will see here all the properties. You can change the graphic overrides, the color, you can change the material, the fluid type, temperature, and identity data, and then the rise drop symbol here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, so duplicate this one and I'm going to change the name here. So I'm going to call this uh, heating. hot water supply okay and then i'll select here okay and that's it so i now have that type and you will notice it's now added here heating hot water so i'll just rename this one so it should be hot and then okay there you go so after I create a new type, I'm going to edit the graphic overrides, the color, for example. So I'm going to select edit here. Okay. And then for the color, I'm going to change this to red. So I select the red and then I select here. Okay. That's it. And then I'll just select here. Uh, okay. Right. And then I'm going to select here. Okay. Again close out now so as you can see it's now added here now to create a piping system so that's how you create the the uh, system type okay so that's how you create the system type now same with your doc so if you want to create another doc system here just right click and then uh, probably just go straight to duplicate you can use one of the available doc system here and then just right click and then duplicate and then just rename it and then change the property. So that's how you create a new type of duct system and a new type of piping system. Now, to apply that to our model here, so I'm going to create a piping system. So to, to create a new one, so we are going to select a water source heat pump. So I already have some heat pumps here that is ready for me to select. Okay, so how to do that? So I'm going to select, for example, this one. So I'm going to select this. So what is that? So that is my uh, water source, uh, heat pump, horizontal, high efficiency, etc., etc. So I just need to select one of the water source heat pump. And then just like your dock system, so you just need to look for your create systems here under the modify mechanical equipment so as you can see you have several options here to create your system why do i have several options here because i have multiple connectors 
in this family i have connector for power i have a connector for duct system and i also have connector for my uh, piping here piping for the hydronic and piping for the sanitary so that's why i have several uh, create systems options here okay so for this one i'm going to select piping so just click piping and then we will be able to specify now here what is the system type so if i'm going to click the drop down arrow here i have several options to create my system type again this is based on the connectors that you have on the family okay right so for this one i'll just uh, use hydronic supply and then I'm going to change the name here. Or maybe I'll just use the one that I created. So I'll just select heating hot water supply. The one that I have created and I'll just change the name here. So hot water supply dash one. Okay. And then I'm going to turn on the system editor. Select okay. There you go. And then here, so I have two connectors that have a hydronic supply on it so we have here a water supply in flow direction in and then i have here hot supply out flow uh, direction out so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select the connector number three okay so that will gonna be the hydronic supply around half inch hot water supply out flow direction out and then i'll select here okay there you go okay so now I'm going to add uh, to system okay so I'm going to select another elements to add to system so I'm going to select the other water source heat pumps to add them to the piping system okay so I'm going to select this heat pump here so I'll click this and then I'm going to select the connector 3 so that's the connector 3 and then I'll select here OK there you go so do we still have other heat pumps here so I have another heat pump here click that connector 3 and then add this one as well connector 3 what else okay so I want to add this one as well click that and then connector 3 and then OK okay so once all the water source heat pumps are selected so I can now select here finish editing system on my contextual tab okay so as you can see all the water source heat pumps on the system will appear in the graphics override assigned to the system type uh, which is uh, red so that is what we have selected a while ago so if I'm going to select one of the uh, water source heat pump, so you'll be able to see my system browser there, right? So on my system browser, it's that equipment is now part of the piping system. Of course, as you can see, there's still some unassigned system from that family because like what i have said this family contains connectors from different systems so that's why those connectors that is not part of the system is inside the unassigned but we already added one of the connector to the piping uh, system all right and as you can see the properties here as well you can see that one the mechanical and then you can see the water pressure drop you can see here the system name that's the system classification and then that's the airflow okay so basically this is how you create your piping system all right so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day